Hello there! Welcome back to another mosaic recipe video. Today we are going to prepare gato patat. So the first thing that you have to do is take your patat, which is sweet potato. You have to boil it first and then here I'm peeling off the skin. So after peeling off the skin, you have to smash them. I'm using a fork to smash them or you can use a smasher. Just make sure that you smash well the sweet potatoes um, before proceeding further. So I'm transferring it to a bigger plate because this, the one I'm using is actually small. So transferring it to a bigger one and I'll have to smash it more so that you can make it as smooth as possible. So here, as you can see, I have my sweet potato which is well smashed. I'm then adding some funnel seeds. Funnel seeds is one thing that is optional, but I like to add it as it brings more of a scent um, and flavor as well. And you know, it's really good for your digestive system. So if you can add funnel seeds, definitely add it. I'm adding around four to five tablespoons of it and you have to mix well the funnel seed to the sweet potato um, mixture so after mixing well the funnel seeds in the sweet potato mixture you have to gradually add in your flour um, it is important that you gradually add it because uh, you have control over how well you're mixing it and you as well avoid food lumps so make sure that you add it slowly and mix it well you will see as you gradually mix um, the sweet potato you don't need to add in water water is something that you don't add in this mixture as the sweet potato already contains enough moisture in it so don't add water just make sure that uh, you're adding enough flour to make the whole mixture stand we want the mixture to be dry and not watery next on i sprinkle some flour on my board and i will roll it out with a rolling pin so when you're rolling out um, just make sure that you don't roll it too thinly as you will have to stuff uh, the gato patat and while frying if you roll it too thinly it might pop in the oil so we don't want that you need to make sure that it is um, not too thick but of enough um, consistency and um, of thickness and when you're rolling out one another important thing is that you need to make sure that uh, this mixture doesn't stick to the board as you haven't added any other alternatives like water or um, oil in it so it might stick as it is a paste so make sure that you add in a flour so here I'm taking a small tin you can use any bowl or um, if you have a cutter it's, it's useful you can use a cutter and make sure that it's something is sharp and rounded like this and you have to cut small circumferences like this here I'm grating my fresh coconut. I'm finely grating it and after grating it I will add some cardamom powder 
this is important to add as it will add flavor and a good smell and I'm adding as well sugar since gato butter is a sweet cake you're not adding sugar in the sweet potato mixture but you add sugar in the filling so make sure that you add enough sugar in this coconut I'm adding around three to four tablespoons if you want it sweeter definitely add more or if you're diabetic or you prefer less sugar then add less next I take this coconut filling and place it in the middle of the sweet potato paste as you can see and I will fold it and show you how we turn this into the gato patat. Another tip here is uh, you don't have to overfill um, the shapes as I am using uh, a small teaspoon to fill in the coconut filling on the sweet potato mixture like I said before if you overfill it it might explode in the oil and we don't want that so make sure that you don't overfill it and use a small teaspoon like I'm using and you just place well the coconut filling in the middle and you fold it like I'm doing So after folding the gato patat, you have to uh, take a the fork. Uh, before placing the fork on the gato, just make sure that you dig in the fork in some flour so that it doesn't stick to uh, the cake. And I'm placing the fork at the end of the gato just to make this beautiful texture. And you have to repeat this to all the cakes before frying. So in a pan like this, I take um, vegetable oil or you can use any fine oil that you have. Uh, when the oil is hot, you have to then add in your gato patat. Just make sure that you add it slowly so that the oil does not spurt on you. These cakes need to be cooked on a medium flame. Don't cook it on low flame as the cakes might absorb oil. And don't cook it as well on high flame as they might burn. Just make sure that you keep flipping these cakes uh, after 2-3 to three minutes. You will see that they will turn brown. Just keep flipping it and don't let it burn on one side.
after two to three minutes you will see that they will turn brown on one side you just flip them to the other side and let it cook for another three to four minutes and you flip it till it has a golden brown color you know that it's ready and you just strain it out with a strainer or with your spoon and place it on a kitchen paper or kitchen towel to remove the excess oil and here you have a great Mauritian delicacy, kata patat. Enjoy!